We have a plant! <gasps> Do you want to do the official intro? Let's insert some art. That's pretty good. Thank you. And today we're continuing the epic tale of the dragon that we went on an adventure with last week. Let's get into the challenge, which we've decided to take the epic piece you did for an animated last video, which took almost 10 hours. And then the challenge was... To do it in one hour. And then together, we're going to see what happens when you try and attempt to do it in 10 minutes. Oh God. Right. <laughs> now, in the last video, we did go through the process of sort of building up the layers a little bit. So we don't need to go into too much detail, you know, about the sketch or the background and things like that. But when you're working on a, a really intense artwork and especially where the focus is really clear, like the dragon, yeah. let's dig a little deeper into something like that. So I made sure that the silhouette was really clear. I started playing around with some colors. I wasn't really happy with this. I started with this cream color, but it wasn't really true to the original. So mm. I changed it to like a darker purple. And it works so, so well. You're sort of blocking the three dimensionality of it, which you sort of, well, you did in the sketch as well. Like the sketch is really bro blocked out, especially because you were approaching this with animation in mind. Yeah, it really helped drawing all of the body parts in full because then you could make sure there was no weird connections or anything. Mm. But then with painting, I, I imagine it would have made it really a, a lot easier to know where to put the light. Yeah, for sure. I really liked all the purples and greens and like little color variation that you had in the original painting. So I wanted to make the wings look really shiny, rainbow sort of. So I just chose a really nice watercolor brush and just painted over a bit of pink, a bit of purple. I, pr I pretty much covered half of the image with fog and cloud brushes. Most of this had been set up for an animation, yeah. whereas for the tail end of this, you got extra time to sort of bring it to the full 10 hours and turn it into an artwork. Yeah. Well, I knew if I drew snow in Photoshop, I wasn't sure how I was going to animate it. So I did animate the snow in After Effects using a particle simulator. But then when I looked back at the final artwork, I was like, oh, it's missing something. Hmm. And then I remembered snow. to add the snow. Yeah. Your 10 hour piece. It's so cool. Like that is like proper desktop background material. Ah, oh, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely love it. People are gonna ask for the high resolution image. It's available to members. We'll make it available to all members. So if you're a member, you can check that out for free. It's all yours. Surprise! This is a little insert. Insert. An insert. Update. In the, inside the insert. Insertion. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're just putting this in the middle of the, the this video to let you know we've made a drastic and quick and painless change where obviously we've started uh, with memberships being the way to support the channel. I've killed that. Or like I haven't killed it. You said it, it was exists. Painless. I'm phasing it out. <laughs> it's a painless death. It's painless, but you killed it. Exactly. Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, I've relaunched the same thing on Patreon. Uh, I've been having conversations with our member supporters and put out a poll for, for our members. Look, the general consensus is most people are used to supporting creators and channels on Patreon. I think memberships is a, a weird term. Like I hoped it might be a better experience for the user having everything in one place and making it simpler. But I think less people know it's a thing or are used to using it. And to be honest, the experience getting updates out to everyone on YouTube memberships has been really crappy. So um, we're, we're not gonna, we're, like, we're gonna make sure anyone who is has already jumped on board as a member is gonna get all of their updates for the next couple of months on, we'll do it on both platforms, but just let anyone know who is a current member that you can phase out your membership whenever it's convenient for you and move over to Patreon. You'll get exactly the same thing. This channel will actually get a higher, it gets a higher proportion of, of your support on Patreon. I was just trying to keep it simpler for everyone because I thought memberships we've we've never done it before so it I had no way of, exactly and we had no way of knowing it would be less convenient for the user far less convenient for us as creators it's really hard to actually like we can't message anyone yeah uh, in, as I members. can't edit anything I can't post no. anything which so is I can't really get any help inconvenient I think that's pretty much all I needed to say we didn't insert it but the other thing to point out is this is us from the future after we've done a lot of work in this room and studio oh we've already God. had a couple of auditions on site there's, yeah. there's a lot happening and your support is going to make all of this possible so yeah. it definitely does make an impact I've talked a lot I'm very sorry and I'm already copying a lot of flat for talking a lot more than you no that's so, okay Okay, you wrap up this insertion, go. Pro. Um, <laughs> All right, yeah, bye. back to the video. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check out how you did the same thing in one hour. 
It was a 10 hour piece. Yeah. Or That's condensed. a lot. How do you psychologically, mentally approach condensing that into one hour? Well, having done the 10 hour one, I already knew my color scheme and what mood I was going for. So there are a lot of like trial and error things that I could sort of skip past that I did in the 10 hour one. And also because I wasn't animating this, I didn't have to draw mm. every single body part to completion. You get to blocking out some of that pop. Yeah, well, like immediately. I cut out most of the sketching phase and just went straight to colors and blocking because I sort of already knew what it was going to look like. I sacrificed a lot of detail on the mountains. At the end of the day, it wasn't that important. You just... It's in the background. Yeah, yeah, you get the silhouettes first and then detail can all be added later. And then just some last minute weather effects. And Everybody then I just quickly. finished an hour piece that looks freaking cool. An yeah. hour, look at that. That's really cool. I mean, it's the same. You can tell it's the same image. Yeah. And like, I, you know, I made a lot of sacrifices. The eyes are just like glowing dots. You don't have to draw eyes, it's fine. Hmm. As long as the main, the main silhouettes and the main composition is there. So if you were to summarize the things that you let go of and the things that you kept going from 10 hours to one hour, yeah. what are they? Definitely kept the basic silhouettes over all the components. So the mountains, the dragon and the rock and just having that clear distinction between all those sort of elements. And then I sacrificed a lot of the detail while a lot of the, the texture brushes sort of helped. It was mostly just using the texture brushes and not actually putting any thought or effort into it because I didn't have time. Amazing. What's going to be even more amazing is seeing how you do the same thing in 10 minutes. Oh, maybe you could do like a 10 second one. All right, let's do it. I can do that. I can do that. One minute. A one minute. One minute. One. Yeah, so 10 hour, okay. one hour. 10, ten minute. minute. One minute. I'm, I'm in. I'm on it. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Cool. Okay. Before we jump in the last, the 10 minute challenge and I'll sort of like, I'll be your moral support. Yeah. Um, I would love suggestions in the comments for like video ideas and stuff, especially yeah. for really fun, simple stuff while we're a bit lean. Give us some ideas. So this is your moment to reference 10 hours. You put 10 hours into that. So you could just soak it in. Just remember that. Okay. It was, it's muscle memory by now, surely. Let me, let me have one extra, extra good look. I'll be the timer as well, are you ready? Okay. See, I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> let me just get my pencil ready. Three, two, one. Okay. Bam, there's background uh, color in already. Yeah. You don't mess around. That's, that's the secret. I'm really excited to see what you do in 10. Me too. So I you're think... going straight in for the sketch. Yeah, with all the other ones, I started with the mountains. Okay. So take us through your process. Where are you feeling you're compromising? Um, logic. <laughs> I'm compromising on all logic. Okay, I think this is what it looked like. That's the dragon and that'll be fine. And we can just merge all those layers. I'm not even gonna sketch the mountains. I'm just gonna block them in. Oh my God. Yeah, eight minutes left. Okay. You're doing well. Covering your sketch. <gasps> it's all that hard work. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be too upset if I lost this horrible sketch. My trick for quickly filling things is selecting the outside of it. Yep. And then reverse. Yep. Selecting the inverse. And then I'm just gonna color this in. And then of course we need to add our little dude. Five and a half minutes. You still got more than half the time. But okay, just. it's fine. So what's the plan? Um, with half the time left. That's, half a, time that's left. a solid half. Do you know what? Like with your rough blocking, there's, I can, there's depth, there's space. Yeah. There's like, you know, you've got environment. It's all there. It's big, it feels big. I'm just gonna add some light and it's not gonna be fantastic, but it's gonna be there. Well, I like, remember. like that, what's that linear dodge? Yeah. That's nice, I like that one. Add some of this purpley sort of color to his like belly. He had his tail sticking out. I forgot about the tail. Yeah, the front, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna go straight in with the snow because that's gonna be nice and quick. Yeah, love that. There we go. That's nice. What are you like? Totally the same. You're actually in a place where you can sort of detail now. Like yeah. everything here is sort of gravy. You've got three minutes left. What are you picking? All right. Where's the detail? I'm gonna add some more clouds 
just to cover it, cover <laughs> it up. <laughs> it's a really it's foggy so, day. It's yeah, it's, so, it's just so cloudy. Yeah, we're just gonna like cover up all the ugly bits with some clouds. Add some detail to these. Oh, not some detail, but some texture to the mountains. Just gonna keep adding this dry oil, oil brush and hope that it just saves everything. Why is it not working? Why is it working? Oh no, it's because I've got the wrong color selected. <laughs> but 30 seconds. What do you choose to do with 30 seconds? Uh, I'm just adding some more scales just to make it look like there's more detail than there actually is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you even do the lining effect. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, Five, four. That saved it. Three, for sure. two. Ah. Boop. How did I do? That's incredible! Thank that you. is so good. You've done such an amazing job. <laughs> every sort of stage, like if you take every two minute block of time. Yeah. I think it, it, it was... shows a very practiced hand of okay. like composing something very clearly. Thank you. So and look, I know obviously when you compare to to that, there's a clear winner. Yeah, but let's not do that. <laughs> well if you if you look like I'm actually looking off to the corner where it's much smaller, but if you if you if you zoom out. Cute. It's like yeah. a fantastic, like, I know it sounds it's... like I'm being patronized, but actually, like, it's a brilliant thumbnail sketch. Like, that's a fantastic storyboard. You Thank know you. what I mean? Thank so, like, you. if you're making storyboards that quality, 10 minutes, you, like, map out a whole animation yeah. in a day, and it's like, ah, amazing. Perfect. Just, maybe if we just zoom out a little bit more. <laughs> uh, All right. And there, there you go. Perfect. Now, I'm up, I'm joining in now. Okay. So... All the all the shade I've thrown or any anything like this is your turn. It's payback time. It's payback time. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a little bit of uh, of prep time. And by that I mean you are a masterful digital painter. If I have a secret weapon though, if I have a superpower, it's rushing. <laughs> it's like I just all that like when I have very little time. That's when I... That's when you do your best work. <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself to feel okay with okay. this. So I'm going to come up with a plan. The plan is I'm going to do the background sky. I'm literally going to prep the layers. So background okay. sky, mountains. I know it's cheating a little bit. <sighs> a little bit. I didn't, I didn't get that option. Well, I, you know, you could have convinced me. You just didn't try. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give a few layers for fog. I have also cheated a little bit by pre-preparing my uh, favorite brushes in a folder that I can <laughs> conveniently access. I've just realized that we have a whole mountain brush that I didn't use. Yeah, but that's what I was, I was like, you, you're sort of skipping some, oh, some very useful, I'm oh like, Photoshop default brush, okay, I've got an advantage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's do this, you ready? Nah, this ain't okay. competition. He says as he is about to do the worst one. <laughs> All right, ready? ready. Three, two, <laughs> one. Okay, just keep it simple. Photoshop's catching up. I'm gonna go straight to ink, lightning. Oh, starting with the lightning. Gonna go down to cloud, no, fog. Let's go fog. Do you think, are you referencing Mountain, I can't answer questions. Okay, sorry, <laughs> no, it's talking. fine, you can talk though. You can commentate. Okay. Skyline Mountain. I wonder if you're referencing more your original, the original art or my, my art? Uh, probably yours, okay. to be honest. It's better. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's my time? Be, oh, sorry. Oh, 15 seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Alicia! I should have been reading I'm in my time today. I'm gonna do a dragon. It's all in my layer. Um, <laughs> six seconds. I'm just, no! <laughs> this is not happening! Do you want? Is that it? That's it! <laughs> You know what, you actually got very far. It looks like a little gargoyle. You know, the yeah, like if I if I had one more minute, do you know what, I'm gonna hide the dragon. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not bad. Like, same thing, zoom out. That's a That's, really good paint. <laughs> That's a total landscape. That is. That's a complete, do you know what? I'm just gonna, like, all I needed was like a few more seconds. I would've just grabbed my texture sponge dry. Just give it a little there you go. There you go. I basically did a Bob Ross painting in one minute. The dragon's in the but foreground. He's, he's off to the side. <laughs> it's so powerful. We really yeah. zoomed in. <laughs> All right, this was really fun. I'm glad I could join in a little way, but I am looking forward to joining in more in future videos, and I'm looking forward to seeing your ideas. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Good oh, good. I don't mind my shitty little mountain scale. <laughs> Yeah, I've sworn twice in this video. Is this a family friendly channel or not? Are we gonna have to bleep it out? Maybe, but that's a lot of work. We don't have enough editing power. Yeah. So they're probably gonna live in this one. This may be as unfamily friendly as this channel ever gets. Oh my God. I apologize. But that is it for this video.
Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Subscribe and all that stuff.